hello everyone and welcome back to another video i thought i would bring you guys along thrifting today i love watching these videos these like come thrift with me videos i find them super like intriguing to see like what people can find i think it's super interesting i go thrifting quite often um and i do just want to say that like i still am missing a lot of stuff i'm not just going thrifting for the sake of it like i do actually need some things our apartment is still 100 percent like not furnished at all. I do also want to get some more decor for my room. I'm still looking for shelving, stuff like that. And then also my summer wardrobe. I do want to see if I can find some more clothes because I don't have a lot and even my capsule wardrobes, you guys will see that like almost every month my capsule is like the same. So I just feel like my clothes are looking a little bit worn. So I do want to see if I can find something, but I'm only gonna buy things that I actually really need that fit me right and all of that good stuff. So I feel like this video may be over a couple of thrifting sessions just because I don't like buy a whole lot um, at once. So I will probably go again within the next few weeks, but today I'm gonna go to my local renaissance. I'm so lucky to live down the street from one, which is good, but it's also very dangerous. I like to also go there when I'm just like bored and then I end up buying books. Um, but I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, they're all like $2 anyways, but yeah, I just need to have a little bit more self-control because I have been getting a little bit out of hand lately. I only have about an hour and 15 minutes before work. Um, and then I will show you guys on a different day if I do end up getting anything. Um, and then in a few weeks, I'll probably go back to Renaissance. I also live really close to a Salvation Army, so I might pop in there and show you guys what I got. So let's go thrifting. Here is today's thrifting outfit. This dress is actually off of vintage. I'm still like not sure how I feel about it. I think it's really flattering in the way that it falls. It has this really cute bow here. The straps are way too long, so I end up like safety pinning it back. And then I have this little, like shirt from Simon's, which I just like unbutton and has a cute little collar. Then my bag from Globe Hope and my shoes from Babaya. So that is my thrifted outfit. The other day I was looking at a couch with my roommate and um, we ended up going to the thrift store that was in Terrebonne where we were visiting the couch. Um, so I didn't really intro that part of thrifting. I found this beautiful Aritzia dress for $15. It's from the brand Wilfred that they sell at Aritzia. So it is probably well over $100 usually. And yeah, I got it for $15. So I just put it on so I can show you guys what it looks like. Um, that is the only thing that I did find. So here is what it looks like. I am in love. If you guys know me at all, this is my favorite color. I love like pinky mauves and I love button down dresses and the material is really light, perfect for summer. I love anything with a collar as well. Um, and then it does have this belt. Today I tied it in the back. I think it just looks really flattering like that. But the other day I did tie it around and I also think it looks really cute. It also has pockets, so I mean, this was just like an immediate yes. It is a size medium. I do find it just a little bit big, like at the armpit area, as you can see, like there's a lot of space there, but I feel like the small would have been too small. So yeah, I really like it. I am gonna show you guys what it looks like with my sandals. Here is what it looks like with my sandals and my everyday bag. I think it is so me. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, yep, yeah, I didn't even try it on. I just literally took it and yeah, went to go pay for it. So this is a thrift find of the month. This is a come thrifting with me video, so I'm actually gonna go to the, thr the thrift stores today. I have a lot of time off this week and I feel like I just need to get out of the house. So I'm gonna head on over to my local thrift store. Um, I am however gonna change because I am in the middle of a 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe, so I can't really be wearing this 
at this time, which is so unfortunate because I would love to wear it today, but I'm really trying to stay true to my capsule. So I just put it on to show you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna go to my local Renaissance. I have not been there in probably a good two weeks. You guys know I moved from Germany um, this is my first place of my own, so I got most of my bedroom furniture, but I'm missing things like, um, well, I do want like a photo, like a really big photo to kind of put here. That was something I was thinking of. Um, just like more kitchen stuff we're missing. And uh, yeah, I always browse the clothing section because if I don't, then I miss out on things like these. And this is something that I will wear for like ever. I love it so much. I'm gonna quickly change and then let's go thrifting again. you guys everything that I got. It was a really good thrifting day. I ended up going to the change room with I believe like 12 pieces of clothing. I don't have, I don't think I have clips of all of them, but I think for most of them I do. And then I got some stuff in the home section as well. Um, excuse the background, we are still so disorganized. We have been looking at couches um, and I feel like once we get a couch, everything is just gonna like pop into place. But for now, everything is everywhere. And yeah, it's just, it's just the way it is for the moment. Okay, so let's start with the home stuff. The first thing that I got and I'm the most excited about was I found The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. Um, I saw Rupi Kaur live with my bestie a few months ago. And um, this is the one, I read this one already and I also read Milk and Honey. But the copies that I read were not mine. And ever since I saw her live, I wanted to collect all of her books because I really, really love her poetry. Um, and I was just so happy to find this for $3.25. So yeah, I definitely manifested this. I have been looking to see if I can find them secondhand for a very long time now. And it is originally $20, $3.25. The next thing that I got, and I was kind of like, I don't know, it's just a little bit unnecessary, but I thought it was really beautiful. It's this, I think it's like an alcohol decanter, but I just thought it was really beautiful. It's so heavy. I think it's real crystal. I'm not really knowledgeable about that kind of thing, but it was $3.95 and I just thought it would look really beautiful on my dresser or maybe on my bedside table or in the future if we get a bar cart. Um, I had a bar cart many years ago and I loved putting like all the alcohols on it with like nice glasses and I thought that this would be a good addition to that if we end up getting a bar cart. Um, but yeah, I just thought maybe I could put a really nice bottle of some kind of alcohol in here to decant it. I don't know if that's the right term. Um, and if I don't, then I could always take the lid off and use it as a really pretty vase for some like dried flowers. So I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah, there's this like really beautiful like design all over it and it's super, super heavy. So $3.95, very unnecessary. But like I said, I don't have much. So a new piece of decor is, will be put to good use. So the first thing that I got in the clothing section was this really beautiful knit tank top from Simons. Um, it's their Contemporain collection, which is like the more expensive part of Simons. Um, and I looked online, I could not find it. My nails keep getting caught in it and pulling out the knit though. From what I could tell from their other knit tank tops, this was probably like 50 to $60. It's this beautiful cream color. It's gonna go with everything. It's just a very lovely classic. Um, fit and I got this for $5.25. I have been really in need of like tank tops uh, lately because this is the only one that I own so I was really happy to find this. It is in absolutely perfect condition, no stains, nothing except for my nails getting stuck on it so I'm trying to be very very careful. Okay, the next thing that I got, I'm gonna try on everything by the way, um, is this skirt. It's just this black 
wrap skirt um, is just very very flattering on me I found I don't have anything like it it's black with this really beautiful floral detail it's gonna go with everything um, and it ties here it is a little bit big around the waist but because it's a wrap skirt I can tie it tighter and it looks really nice I really liked it um, it's a really good length it's not too short and it's not like midi either it's like kind of in between and I really really like that um, and this was $5.75. I'm gonna get lots of use out of this and I feel like it will look good in the fall as well with like tights and a sweater. And then lastly, lastly I got a pink cardigan which I thought was really cute. Do you guys know I love this color pink. Um, I do have a pink, it's like a blush mauve sweater from Organic Basics that you guys know I wear all the time in the winter and I saw this and I thought I will most definitely wear that um, it's just this really cute button cardigan I don't have a cardigan this color I do have a beige cardigan very similar to this one and I wear it quite often so yeah I thought that this would be really good the sleeves are a little bit puffy which I found very flattering it's not very oversized which I like too it's more fitted so it just overall like gives a really nice shape. The buttons are kind of like gold and pink or like maybe more of like a mustard pink and it's 100% cotton, which um, I definitely prefer, especially with knits in the winter when you know, you're know you wearing like heavy items of clothing and it gets itchy. So yeah, I thought that this was really nice. It looks good buttoned up, but it also looks good opened. So I'm gonna try everything on for you guys now and I'll let you guys, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here it is. I don't think I'd necessarily wear them both together, but it does. It does work. So this is a skirt. Like I said, I just find it really like flattering, cinches in at the waist, and then it's just kind of like flowy. I really like. I really like it. I think it's really, really cute. Not too long. Not too short. And here is a closer look at the tank top. I just think it's really, really pretty. I love knit. Like I don't know everything. T-shirts, tank tops. Yeah, just a very very classic cut so yeah i don't think i would wear it together with a skirt but it does work um but here it is it's like more fitted but it's still like chunky which i like i really like chunky cardigans and i think it just fits me overall like really really well um the shoulders are a little bit puffed which i think is also flattering i'll do it up so you guys can see what it looks like done up I don't think I would do it done up, but it works. Um, it kind of gives me like Princess Diana vibes or something. I don't really know. Um, but I think it will look good with like jeans, not really this outfit. But I think it will be a staple in the winter, in the fall. And oh yeah, the springs is a very springy color. So anyways, that is everything that I got. I'm going to um, wash everything. And yeah, I'll see you guys for the next thrift session that I have. Hello everyone, happy Saturday. Um, I am about to head on over to Eco Depot with a friend. Um, I think I showed Eco Depot in a vlog once. It's this really cool big warehouse in the middle of nowhere um, filled to the brim with like secondhand furniture, um, decorations, lots of like antique stuff. So I'm gonna go see what I can find. Um, they also have like a small clothing section and I feel like it'd be a really good place to find like a pair of denim shorts. That's something I don't have that I feel like I want to own in my wardrobe, especially before summer is over, but I'll see what I can find. I'll see if I can film a few clips for you guys and let's head on out. I am back from my Eco Depot adventure. I completely forgot to film. Um, it's, yeah, it's really noisy, thunder lightning, laundry going, um, but I found my dream jeans. Oh my gosh, they did not have any changing rooms there. But I saw these jeans and I was like, I feel like they're gonna fit me. I feel like they're gonna look nice. And look at these. How nice are these? They're like super high rise, they're vintage. They were $10, $9.99. They also come with like a denim belt here, um, which I just took off just to see, but I like it with the belt as well. They fit me like a dream. I'm so, I'm so impressed. I love them so much. They are a little bit long, but I think that they also make my legs look longer when they're this long and yeah i was just kind of looking for fall clothes and um obviously like i have jeans that i wear a lot like these ones from new in these ones from new in but these ones honestly have seen better days they are getting really like just worn out these ones i used for my pottery these ones i wear all the time 
but I thought it was just nice to have a different shape because I don't really have anything like of this length um, and I think that they are so so beautiful. I also found this little top with this little collar, it's beige, has some stripes um, and I really liked it but it's very awkward on me because my shoulders are too wide so it just pulls weirdly um, but it was only six dollars so I'm gonna see if my roommate wants it or maybe I'll resell it but uh, that's kind of unfortunate because it would have looked like kind of cute with the jeans too. So it's actually the first week of September and I thought I would finally end <laughs> this come thrifting with me video. Um, this video ended up being over two months so yeah, it is time that I end it and I'm actually going to be starting a new one. Let me know if you guys like this format better or if you just prefer like a thrift haul with like home decor and um, like thrifted clothes. So yeah, let me know what you prefer. I'm not sure. I feel like this one would probably be easier for me to film because I can just like film as I go. Whereas if I do one big haul, it's like I have to plan it and like sit down and gather everything. So it's a little bit more complicated, but let me know what you prefer. Um, and if you guys liked it, please like and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.